back again. Um, I got home a little bit ago, and um, I learned a lot of things today trying to get my band set up. Uh, because normally, what I normally do is um, used to do. I, I did van lifing, but I never thought about a sink. Okay, that was the last thing on my mind because we weren't living in these times that it's hard to find things on the road as you go. Okay, as of 2019. So right now it's more difficult to um, find um, places to, to take a shower. Um, and not just taking a shower, it's just like, we constantly use water. Even if we're home, you're washing your hands, or you make some coffee, you're washing your cup out, you're, co you're washing the coffee pot, um, uh, you're cleaning, you know, you're, you're wiping something down. Um, so it's, it's, we're constantly, you know, water is a very essential item, okay? And I hope everyone out there is listening and, um, um, and, and keep enforcing to, to you know, to your, your close ones to always have plenty of water, regardless. Um, rank it up on the water, because water is going to be something... If you really think about the times that we're going and how hard can we get hit, is sometimes it's not even actually food. It's water, okay? If something was to happen to a water system, we're doomed, okay? We are so doomed. So think about that, guys. That's something to think about. But that's something that a van lifer before 2019 never thought about. I mean, you know, there are some, yes, I can't say no. There's a few, a, a lot that are... They do have access to water in their vans. Um, and probably because they did, you know, they have uh, the van set up to on the road go, okay? And some do not have that on the road go water accessibility as far as the sink, okay? So I'm talking sink and stuff like that. So let's say you wind up in the middle of nowhere. Who got time to think about water? <laughs> but you want to take a shower. At least you could take a, a, a sponge bath, you know, a bird bath. Okay, because you can take a good bird bath inside of a van. Yes, you can. So, you can stay clean. So, um, that's very important to have. So, down the line, I learned, um, that, you know, through these past few years, gosh, you know, what would I do in the middle of nowhere? I don't have a, a water, I mean, not, not water, but, you know, because I do carry water when I do um, bounce out. But what happens if you're in the middle of nowhere and you need more water or you're, and you're stuck maybe a couple of days or something? Maybe tree falls and you're in the middle of a storm and by the time they clean the roads, you can't go nowhere. How are you going to stay clean? So water is something. Hold on one second, guys. I got something on the stove. Sorry there, guys. I had um, a pot of water. Um, this is like a disinfecting idea, guys. A pot of water and um, a pot of water and uh, some alcohol in it. It cleans the air. That's what I do here because of those trees and the allergies. So I couldn't find no parking, guys. Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. I couldn't find no parking, guys. Um, so, uh, I parked in the corner. <laughs> I parked in the corner. I hope I don't get a ticket, guys. Tickets for parking on the corner is a fat ticket. It's a 60 buck ticket here in New Jersey, just so you know, guys. Just so you know. So, let me get back to what I was saying. Um, there is gym memberships, yeah. If you're on the road full-time... Uh, yes, gym membership, I would go for. That's, that's, yes, that's a plus, guys. Um, but if you're not, um, uh, you know, let's say you're not close to a gym place or whatnot, you don't have to drive all the way out there, you know, just take a shower. You can always catch a shower on the row at, uh, um, uh, Pilots, um, TA, uh, travel centers, um, you know, on the, on, on your highways and whatnot, 
And that's just on highways because where my brother lives in Upton, New York, he lives close to a pilot and another uh, flying jade, something like that. Um, yeah, so it's he's not too far from them either. And they're not on a big um, highway like a turnpike or something like that. I say turnpike because turnpike will take you from New York all the way to Florida. All the way to the Keys. Yes. Turnpike 95. Straight shot. <laughs> I know that or else from the back of my hand. So anyway. Um, and 80 out to the east. Um, depending where you're going. Um, somewhere is Route 70. So anyway. Um, back to the water. Um, I wanted to I want the whole nine yards. <laughs> if you have to quarantine. Okay, suppose you could at least you could do you could do it in the van, you know. Suppose I mean you know I, I have access if I I did have we did have to quarantine at one time, um, so I I stayed in my my quarters over here, and um, we just shared a kitchen and lights all the hell out of the air <laughs> every time I was over there, or you know or, or she crossed the bathroom or the kitchen, so you know. If you, if you keep that pattern, then you never have to be dusting and wiping so much. And put in a van because of the limited space you have. If you make it comfy for you, make it work for you. Like I, I've seen thousands of setups. Um, but for me, that rear seat is important. Um, it's very in New Jersey. Not New Jersey, but the area here that I'm at. Um, not that it's illegal because it's not illegal. But if there was a third person with you or something. Um, let's say, I would say if you get pulled over. And um, they see that, you know, there's no seat back there. Now they want to investigate and get in your business and all of that stuff. So, I try to, I try to keep it on the down low. Um, when I'm in, you know, where I live in the area I live, and it's not bad. This is not a bad town at all. It's it's a, it's just too many, too many people. Um, it's a small town, but there's a lot of people. Okay, like um, not in my not around here, but downtown on the waterfront. Um, out of every apartment or a house or one family house with two floors. You'd have about 10 to 12, 14 people living in the household. So even in an apartment of a three-bedroom, you have six or eight people living. Yeah, guys, yeah. Yeah. You, have, you know, that's how, they, that's how they shoot up, and then they own businesses, and you see them buying, um, buying uh, um, grocery stores and owning the whole downtown. <laughs> oh, my God. So, um... That's that's the other end. <laughs> I, I I don't go down there. The waterfront I love. The waterfront is just like a peaceful. Just just you can walk. It's just it's just beautiful. Yeah, I've seen it on the videos. I gotta give you a good walk through there because you haven't seen nothing from down there yet. It's beautiful, and it's really nice. Maybe we'll stop in the tiki, uh, tiki outside, and 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 they'll probably have a drink or something. I'm not a drinker. I don't drink. Maybe because they, uh, half of my family are alcoholics. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't have um, uh, a taste bud for liquor. I I never have. I've had my drinks yeah here and there, like Hennessy. Ooh, I love Hennessy, but um, I I'll tell you know I'll take a little um, glass with a. Uh, um, ice and um, some lemon inside, but that's about it. That's about it. Beer, I I don't have taste for beer. Wine, red, dark wrong wine, yes, I uh, guess. Um, that, but I don't even buy wine anymore like I used to. Have a cup here and there. It's like I don't know. <laughs> Is something wrong with me? <laughs> hmm. But if I'm outdoors and I'm someplace, you know walking around and stuff like that and uh, i see a little bar outside or something like that where i could just boardwalk or something like that yeah I mean, i'll buy me a little glass of wine or something but for home i don't drink i don't i don't i don't like drinking at home not even a glass of wine i'm gonna buy me a bottle of wine i do have like two bottles i don't know where they at i don't know where they at i have 
I have rum from Dominican Republic. Not rum. It's uh, the bottle where it's medicinal. It's medicinal. You take a shot every now and then. It has a lot of sticks. Maybe y'all seen it. It's called Mama Juana. It has a lot of... I'm show it to you one day. Um, where it's stashed in, I couldn't show it to you right now in a, in a quick hurry. So, um, it's under the sink. So, um, it has sticks and all kinds of uh, medicinal sticks from Dominican Republic, guys. Okay? It's good for kidneys. It's good for diabetes. It's good for everything if you take a shot. Um, like... Twice a week, I was told. Twice a week. Something like that, yeah. So, um, it's got cinnamon sticks. And you can add any kind of rum to it. But they use Brugal. Brugal um, is what is supposed to go in there. Right now, it just has the wine. Because to cure it, you have to add wine. Uh, it has honey and all that stuff in there. Then you pour um, a bottle of red wine and you shake it for like a year every now and then oh I, I did all that and it's it's completely cured right now it's uh and and, and um i think all i have to do is add the brugal yeah because i didn't add liquor to it yet so it's more than cured guys it's medicinal so um but it's there it's hard to find and you can drink it all up and whatnot you know through throughout the time and um, just add more Brugal to it. That's what you add to it. It's a Dominican um, medicinal uh, uh, concoction. <laughs> so anyway, guys. Um, water is very essential. Okay? Because um, you clean, you wipe down, um, you, you wash stuff, you take bird baths in there. You can stay very clean, yes. I've done it before, um, but I never thought of having a running water sink, okay? Having water, yeah, having a, um, you know, the, when you wash dishes, um, where you have the big square pan, I have one of those. I mean, when I went camping, I had one of those, but there were showers, there's, it was water. I mean, campgrounds have water, you don't have access to all of that stuff, but um, if you, um, Let's say I would take like the end of the camp, you know, I would always get, take, go, go walk and take time. I like to take the end of it because I want to hear a noise and stuff in between. Though they have quiet hours, but sometimes it gets too crowded when you're in between a lot of people in a campground. So I try to get to the last one or at least closer to the last end of whatever aisle I wind up in. And um, I even, I, I had a pop-up tent also. Um, I would, I would have that baby ready. I would take it to work with me. Yes, it would be would hit, be hitched behind my van. And I would take it to work. And um, when I got out of work, it was pick up the kids and roll. I had to prepare nothing, do nothing, because everything was in there. Just, just pop the top open. But, you know, it has a lot of cubby holes in there. So it had TV. I remember I had VCR and all, everything. DVD player. Now, I, I, now you can't find a VCR or a DVD. So anyway... I had tons of that stuff, and and my kids were newborns, and 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 grown up. So, yeah, I had my share of that. But I never thought of running water inside a van. So, that's an A plus, guys. Cooking, um, enjoying a day in there on a rainy day, watching movies and making a pot of soup, and if and even if it's a little chilly. You can cook some soup. Oh my, oh, we're going to do some cooking. We're going to do some cooking. But guys, I learned that um, you really have to be organized in a van to make it work. To make it functional for you. Accessible to anything you might need. So the ottoman all the way in the back would just be open up the top. Get what I need. Get over the bed. And the kitchen is right there. Pots and pans are right there. The water is right there. Uh, paper towels are close by. Porta potty is right there. So your TV is right there. You know your phone, your iPad. I use my iPad for TV. I don't use my phone when I when I'm in, when I'm um, out there in the van or camping. So that's a plus, okay? But when you gotta dig up on here to get that over there that's my problem that's the problem i had i had to 
um, lift up the whole bedding, which was, you know, um, kind of heavy, um, to, to, you know, and then when it, it goes against the wall, so now you got uh, uh, the, the, the top to the ottoman, plus your mattresses and your blankets and all that stuff, and you don't have, like, room to, to open it wide because, you know, the wall of the van is right there. So, that was the main issue. That was like, dang. So, and not space to move around and do things. And I didn't have a sink. Remember? I took the sink out. So, now that was a problem. So, it's like, you got to cook on the floor. You got to get you a little table, which is okay. If it works for you, hey, boom, pom, 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 get up. But when you really, really, really want the whole hookup. I wanted the whole hookup. I wanted it the whole nine yards. So, I cracked my head and cracked my head. And yeah, I know I went through a lot of setups. And it didn't work. It wasn't working. I didn't have a problem now uh, not being leveled, okay? Ever since I got the new tires. Yeah. I don't know. I, I didn't find myself lopsided in any kind of way while I was moving around in there. And that was an issue. When I was trying to move stuff around, I, I would be lopsided. I would, I would, I would be tilting over until I was leaning over something, and um, I didn't have that problem. So I went out the van. I look at the van. The new tires, the new tires actually gave it a little boost up in the front. I said, "Whoa!" But it does have that drop. Okay, it has the drop um, by between the, the right behind the back seats, the front seats. It has that drop. But it's okay. It doesn't bother me. It, didn't, it doesn't bother me. Because I won't be actually standing there. <laughs> so that was good. It turned out It turned out good, guys. I'm happy with it. And um, the video is going to be up, okay? The video is going to be um, it's um, loading. It's going to take a while to load. Bits and pieces of my progress. And um, I'm happy with it. I had to reset my camera when I... Um, got here, so there's no parking anywhere. Like I said, when once you, you, you get out, of, if you're not here by two, three o'clock in the afternoon, you are so done with parking. And I parked right at the corner right here. So let's see what happens. Hold, on. I'm gonna pray tonight that, that, that the cops will come around here and give me a ticket. Just and they don't have nothing to do. That's what they do. And they don't give everybody. Everybody's on a corner. Everybody's on a corner. But at least I'm not touching the crosswalk. I'm I'm like. Five feet from the uh, crosswalk, so it'll be 25 feet. Yeah, 25 feet from the crosswalk. So, I'm five feet. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep looking. It's not the end of the night. Maybe maybe people have visitors and whatnot in the area. So, uh, I'm going to keep looking out every now and then through my cam and see if uh, anything else is available. I will move it very quickly. And um, maybe there's a car, there's two cars that are I've never seen from here. They're right in front of the house here. So if any of those cars move, I can always move a little bit forward. So we'll take it from, you know, play by ear. So guys, I am so souped up to go out there. So tomorrow, um, in a few, I'm going to start rubbing this cream on my back. I just took a nice hot shower. And, um... My coffee is in the making. And I don't need the coffee. <laughs> um, I am uh, very happy with the setup, guys. Very happy. Um, and I can't wait to start cooking in there uh, one night. One night. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, Sunday. Maybe tomorrow night. Um, I will stealth out with you. How's that? Yes. Yes. I know you want me to stealth out and um, cook something, okay? And I'll show you how everything is working and functioning. So I'm gonna look around here because you know what? Um, I might have, oh, well, my son has a big jug. Of, no, that was too big. I was after this too big. too big blue ones. I said, no, that's, that's too big. Um, I am going to look around the house and see if I can find one of those jugs that I had before, which they hold pretty well the water, um, before I go searching for one. I don't want to spend any money on that. 
Uh, but I do want two big, good size slim, something slim, but a good size, so I don't have to worry about emptying it out every hour or every two hours and stuff like that if I was to, you know, or, or whatever, you know, whatever. <laughs> However you use the water, I don't know, you never, you don't know what you're going to use until you start working on it. So, you know how much you, you will need for a bird bath or a couple of bird baths maybe we'll have a couple of days out you know yeah maybe we'll have a couple of days at walmart so and then i have to give it a try out with um with the puppy okay i call a puppy well, she's four years old already but she's still she's still a baby um she's a person <laughs> so um the the seat the, the third seat it's not a problem either. If I need it, i like, when I take my puppy with me, what I will do is I'll disconnect the seat from the hooks, you know, from the, from where it clamps at, and um, fold it over, okay? Push the front seat forward, snap that one out of place, close it, okay? Lift it up, put it towards the, 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 it would be behind the, the passenger side. I will push the passenger side up. I will unsnap the um, back seat, stand it up, and they have all that space right there for her. Um, she does have a pan, okay? On her wee wee pads here, she has a, a pan under so that her wee wee does, um, doesn't touch the floor. Um, and uh, I have another one. Uh, which I, I purposely bought it for that so that way she doesn't nothing will 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 slide into the the carpeting which she's very good at that um she doesn't go off her pads and her pads absorb so and then I uh, her, her little bed okay a little bed for her um so I have to get her a little bed so I don't have to be dragging her bed back and forth. I can, I'm going to order a bed for her. She likes that one she got, a bed from, a from Amazon. So I'm going to get her one um, in a different color. That way she, she learns, she learns um, that that one is home and the other one is when, you know, when you're out. So she'll know what to do when she's out. And she already knows what, I mean, the, I left for four hours, four hours, guys, and I left. I let her loose. I was the first one to leave. I told my daughter was getting taken a shower. She, um, she goes do Uber Eats because she does. She's a hustler. She goes do what she got to do because she got hella bills to pay. Um, personal bills. She's got college bills, all that stuff. All that. Just adds up. So she has heck of bills to pay. So she got to work and get them ready and, and get things done. So she's very good with that. So I'm proud of baby girl because she's very responsible. She don't mess around with her credit. No. Um, she don't mess around with her credit. And she go in. And Uber Eats pays good money. Guys, um, get, uh, put the word out there. If you're doing DoorDash, she used to do DoorDash on day, day offs and, and whatnot, off and on. Um, just to stay busy because you, know, you don't want to be in the bed all the time and whatnot. Um, and she loves money because she got bills to pay. <laughs> So, DoorDash is not paying too much right now, but um, unless you're going to the towns that are um, more wealthier per people, um, yes, you make good money, and sometimes you don't. But Uber Eats, now they're charging extra, but it's because of delivery, the gas, and all that stuff. So, it's not really much that was a raise, okay, to your orders on Uber Eats. It's not, it's not a lot. Um... And they get better tip, you know, they get better tip. And normally she goes to those areas, I mean, if it's a drive, um, well, any town out here is okay. So she gets to the big towns because it's a lot of deliveries. And um, she racks up pretty good. So um, at least she's doing something that, you know, instead of hanging out and doing nothing, I'm very proud of her because she's always trying to progress. And I feel bad for her too because you know you know you don't want your child out there driving. I mean, look, what time it is? It's like eight o'clock, nine o'clock, something like that, and she's out there um, overeating deliveries and stuff like that. So 
That's like I, I, I get I get you. You know, the kids are grown, but you you you, you know, no matter how grown your kids are, you still look at them like you worry so much about them. Uh, you know, because they live close to you, they, you worry so damn much about them, and maybe her because she's a girl. Maybe she, she's she's more like a like a, like, a, like a boy, because she'll do men stuff. You know, she you know, she's not afraid to work. She's not afraid to lift anything. She you no. Know, She's not afraid to take chances, you know, no, no, um, I'm very proud of her, you know, but no matter how old your kids are, even if they're boys, you always worry, always worry, even the one that's in Florida, um, I also worry, you know, but it is what it is, guys, you know, mom will always be a mom, right, right, guys, mom will always be a mom. So no matter how old they are, and the and the older they get, the more headaches you have. Not because they give it to you, but because you worry. That's a headache. That's it. And things are okay. Things are fine. Things are okay. They're okay. But you still worry. So a mom is always going to be a mom. Sometimes kids don't understand that. They think you're just on the business and you want to know where they come from, where they going, what they doing, what they doing. I don't be calling and checking up on them. I don't do that. Um, anything, I tell them, call me. But um, we still worry. I don't care how old they are. And the bigger they, the older they get, the more you worry because you want them to, to, to do good. You want them to be good. You want You don't want them going through what you've been through. So you, you, you kind of, you know, you worry that they can't get there, get there, you know, get there. But uh, life is a struggle. Whichever way you look at it, life is a struggle. And with these prices that we're paying now for everything, it's a struggle. So, but you always catch a sale, okay? It's not like everything. We, 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 every single one of us will catch a sale. So guys, I left Mickey and Minnie because I don't know about Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> so I still need a name for my van, okay? So I'm going to wait on y'all for that, okay? So I'll let you go. Um, I thank you again. And um, just wanted to share with you um, the uh, uh, trials and errors of um, things that you think you don't need and how to be organized and have the lease and um, I did have I winded up with a lot of space to put stuff in I st I um, in the garage the bottom of the, the floor compartment excuse me floor compartment um, I do have plenty of storage excuse me God, I have hiccups now I have a soda and um, I have uh, compartments under the bed and cubby holes all over the place. Okay, there's cubby holes. All I cleaned all the front guys. Last, um, everything in the front is spot, spotty clean. Um, I did that after I had ended the video of working on the van. Um, before I left. So, um, everything is set up in a pretty good way for me to work in there, for me to sleep, and. I, I wanted to go out tonight, but the reason that I'm not going to do it tonight, and maybe not even, let's see what tomorrow, how tomorrow it is, because remember, um, the mattress is a four inch, three inch, three inch uh, mattress, so twin, twin mattress, so that has to expand, it hasn't expanded guys, it, no it hasn't, so I left the windows popped down and it has to expand so it says it takes like 12 hours or something like that in the instructions so we'll see what tomorrow the mattress will look like I also have a topper there's a topper that is very fluffy so um, to be on the you know on the safe side um, I'm gonna add the topper to it also just so you know okay I'm just telling you, um, I, it's, I have the topper here. I didn't take it with me because I was going to have more baggage to carry to my son's house. And um, so you saw, um, well not saw, you will see the video coming up soon. Watch out for it, okay? The van is completely, that is the, um, the uh, van uh, 
tour, okay? So I'll give a better van tour, ones that matches, um, inflates up to the three inches. And I get the water set up. Hopefully by to uh, tomorrow I will do that. And uh, right now I am broke down. <laughs> Fanny Winnie is broke down right now, guys. So I'm gonna get my cup of coffee, chill with my coffee here, and crash into my pillow. Okay, I got my pillow ready here, and um, and um, tomorrow another day. So I'll have the water set up, the sink. Oh, I left this the, the sink uh, thing. I'm gonna go get the sink, the silver, um, and, and clean it out, and um, have it clean for tomorrow, and. Uh, and have the sink fully functional with running water okay guys and then i will do another van tour so i'm very happy with my um with my work today okay very happy with the conversion i i came up with i didn't think about i just laid stuff around and it just it was like a puzzle it was like yeah, guys, I didn't even plan to put the bed like that. It was like a puzzle. It, it just worked. <laughs> it worked. So I said, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. What were the holes? The drawers. Holy crap. But then again, the mattress gets air, okay? The circulation of air and uh, venting in the mattress. Um, the ottoman has, um, does have these ventilating holes on the bottom. And also on the sides, guys, just so you know, okay, my ottoman does have ventilation in there also. And it has, like, these legs, so it's not close to the floor. It's elevated to the, from the, where it sits at. Anywhere you put it, it has its own two and a half inch legs. So that's a plus. And it has holes under and on the side, on the back. So the ottoman has its own ventilation. And the bed with um, those storage bins that um, I put on, laid down, um, it was a four shelfer. The four shelfer, so I, it was, it was like a puzzle. I still can't believe it, guys. It was like a puzzle. Um, it was like everything just worked out like, whoa. So I'm happy. And, um, and I know y'all happy, y'all souped up to, have, to see me out there, right? I, I, I promise, I said, I promise, I, I did promise that this week I was going to get to it. And I, I complied with my promise, guys, okay? So there you go. I will catch you on my, um, on my next video. So stay tuned, okay? The van conversion, you will see it coming up. Uh, and, um any errors with the camera because a couple of times i did drop it i didn't have my um the tripod with me um i didn't want to try to invent with the gopro head um head setup so i just did it with my phone and um and so the phone did tip over here and there but i um, just just bear with me bear with me <laughs> All right, guys, so have fun with the video, and let me know what you think about it. And don't forget, I want to see some stars up there. <laughs> All right, so I'm really tired. I am really, like, really, really drained, tired. My back is hurting me really bad. Um, even though I took the Tylenol, it worked, but it's it worn out already. It's like four hours, five hours, on somewhere around it. I don't know. I know this baby will fix me up, so that's okay. As long as I have this, I am happy. <laughs> when I run out, I panic. <laughs> so I, I have a couple of more tubes to have. I'll have to scuffle in the closet to bring them out. But guys, the Voltran, Voltran, you're looking up in the pharmacy, uh, any pharmacy, okay? Uh, it's, the, the box is, this, is the same thing. Orange on one end of the box and white. And it's uh, it's, it's Duflenac? Duflenac? The Clofenac topical gel, but um, it's it's the real name is Voltron. So even when you pull it out the box, it's gonna say this. So guys, if anybody suffers from pain, this is the this, let me tell you, this is the best. Okay, write it down. 
screenshot it, write it down, whatever you gotta do, guys. Get it. Get it? I'm telling you. You're gonna remember me for the rest of your life. Every time you get you be in pain, you're gonna remember bearing with Ada. So guys, until next time, everyone have a great one. Have a nice weekend. Blessings to all. And lots of hugs to everyone, okay? And thank you again.